Dutch from All Sing Tarot here with your weekend romance report for January the 4th through the 6th. Let's see what's happening with my lovers. I'm using my big old poppy pollen deck. I'm going to these messages, guys, okay? So I'll probably pick, I don't know. I'm just going to keep picking until I feel like I should stop, okay? And I'm just going to with the messages on uh, different events that's going to occur in different people's lives. For this weekend. Okay. It's the last weekend to reserve up to the minute. Take advantage of up to the minute. However many minutes that you want to talk for. That's what you pay for. That will be cut off by Monday. So take advantage of it. Then I'll roll into my January pricing. So look in the description box below. Okay. Oh, guys, let's see what's happening with our love lives. What is happening? It's a brand new year. Hopefully you got new love coming in. If you don't, then let's find out why. Hit me up. Get you a reading. Let's see what's happening. Okay, come on. January 4th through the 6th. I'm waiting on a feeling, guys. That's what That's what's taking me so long. Okay, here we go. One more. All right. These cards are huge. One, two, three. All right. So, I can't even grab them. First card, Ten of Cups. The Page of Blades, which is the Page of Swords. Eight of Swords. The Devil. The King of Swords. Two of Wands. Six of Wands. Eight of Cups. Ace of Swords. King of King of Coins, King of Pentacles, guys. The Chariot. And the Six of Coins. Overall energy, five of coins. Okay. Alright. Hopefully you can see all that. Okay. Okay, so when I look at these cards, I'm just sitting here and I'm studying everything. I'm just going to throw out all the messages that are coming in my head. I definitely feel that those of you um, that have been left alone, home alone, taking care of the kids by yourself, for my women out there, um, it kind of seems like maybe your baby's father, you know, uh, been running lately, been partying a lot with the devil card there. You've been stuck at home, haven't had a chance to go out and have a good time. You've been watching the kids or just stuck taking care of the kids and you're very frustrated. You've been very frustrated and you've... Uh, probably even threatened to leave your partner at this time because you feel like you're alone already. Uh, I kind of get the sense that your your partner is definitely going to have, have a change of heart this weekend. So you may notice, you may think he's sick. You might have to check his temperature because it looks like this weekend, instead of going out partying, he may decide, you know what, I'm going to stay home and spend some time with my family. We got the Ten of Cups here, the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This is cutting out of his life all his extracurricular activities that he had been doing, okay? The Two of Wands, the King of Coins. So this is saying that, you know, um, he may come and, and, and try to take out the family. You may, you know, get an invitation to go out on a date with your beloved, the person that, you know, you live with or the, the person that is in your life, your relationship, um, they may take you out on a date and just the two of you, you go out to dinner or whatever. They may even, you know, get a babysitter so that they could spend some time with you and fall back in love with you. Okay. Um, I kind of get the sense that also this stands for those of you that have partners that are workaholics. Um, it kind of looks like they're going to take a double look at their relationship and reevaluate everything. Um, 
within their relationship with you and realize that, you know what, I have to spend some time before I lose my partner. I can't lose the best thing that ever happened to me with the eight of cups and the six of coins. OK, so I kind of get the sense that <clears throat> like if you've had a partner that has been running, traveling, this is for those partners that also travel on the road. OK, um, they could be deciding, you know what, it's time for me to go home. It's time for me to you know, fall back in love with my partner. I can't keep getting distracted with these outside events, okay? Because my partner feels left alone and they're threatening that they're going to leave me. Uh, now, for those of you that I'm talking to, you may have totally tuned out of your relationship and started to feel as if you're single. So you actually treat your partner like you're single. So you might not answer the phone or talk to this person or, you know, when they do call home, your your attitude has been extremely dry because you feel like, you know, I thought that I was in a relationship, but I don't I don't feel like I have any support from you. OK, you've been worried about every other thing except for, you know, us and the family. This could also uh, go for those of you that are in relationships where um, the outside family, you know, the in-laws uh, sort of take the attention of your husband or your wife and they haven't been putting much focus into building a relationship with you. It's kind of like your family's getting in your business and and different things like that. I kind of get the sense that your partner's going to have an epiphany this weekend and realize that. You know, let me keep all these other people out of my business before I actually lose my my beloved. OK, so I definitely feel that there's going to be a change of heart with that. Also, I, I get the sense that if you have been speaking to an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, there's a possibility if you haven't heard from this person in a while, they could reach out to you this weekend just to communicate and let you know uh, what's been distracting them. Um, if this is a brand new relationship uh, that you just met this person or whatever and they haven't reached out to you for a while, you may find out that they've been been becoming distracted by their family. OK, that's for air signs. OK, um, give them the benefit of the doubt. Communicate if you want to communicate, if you want to build something with this person, then you have to realize that family is the most important thing to them. And there are times where they can get distracted and not even pay you any attention. OK, we had the holidays that just passed. So it was Christmas and New Year's. And that's usually the time that, you know, people spend a lot of time around their family. OK, so it kind of looks like they just got distracted, you know, with taking care of their kids or, you know, just uh, uh, taking care of the ex or whatever the situation may have been. All right. Um, I also get the sense that I want you to definitely look out for an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Capricorn, Taurus. I can't even say Virgo. I'm going to say Capricorn and Taurus. It kind of looks like uh, they look like they just recently solidified a spot. There's some sort of um, deal. May It may have been a record deal, a business deal. Um, they got the loan or, or some sort of um, energy that was taking place out of town. So if they recently left town or left the country or whatever to uh, put together business plans, it looks like that is set in stone. So, you know, they got the deal, they got the the contract or whatever, you know, so now that they can come home and actually pay you some attention, especially if you guys are in relationships. Now, if you're not in a relationship with this king of coins, um, then it could just be that this might be somebody that you were talking to that just went AWOL on you for maybe a week or two, but it looks like they went AWOL because they were uh, solidifying some plans for their future. Okay. Um, they may have got a new contract. Like I said, that's for Capricorn and Taurus. Okay. Oh, let's see. There are those of you that are involved with karmic connections. You may be involved with uh, a karmic attachment. This could be for fire signs. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, as well as water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be contemplating leaving a relationship because you feel like you're giving more than you're receiving. I feel like you're going to have a change of heart this weekend. Like I said, those also, one of you, either the fire sign or the water sign is going to decide that, you know what, my relationship is more important. You know, I've been out here, I've been running around and I start to realize that I have something very solid at home. I want to go back home and I want to make it right. I, I want to be with this person for the rest of my life. And I haven't really been showing them much attention. We got the Eight of Swords and the Devil card. So even though you're feeling like you want to let this relationship go, you really can't let this relationship go karmically because you guys are tied together. Okay, so this is for those of you that are in karmic uh, soulmate connections. Okay. Hmm.
<clears throat> okay, so another thing that I see is um, if you fall under the sign of Virgo, and those of you that are commenting and saying, why is it always bad for Virgo? I don't know, Virgo. It's just the way that the vertex is going for you guys. Um, it kind of looks like um, for those of you that has been going after a particular partner and this it, this person already has someone, okay? It looks like this. Remember I told you, Virgo, if you listen to the Virgo readings, I told you to be careful that you weren't cheated out of your money Um just trying to help a friend or trying to help an ex expecting that they would, you know, uh, sort of put you like a, up on a pedal stool and actually, you know, give you a second chance because you, you were hoping that they would recognize that you you're there for them or you, you, you're financially helping them or whatever. Um, this is that weekend that I said that you, you be careful not to really lend nobody no money or try to, um, you know, uh, put yourself out there for this particular person because it kind of looks like to me that they're choosing their family. I feel like maybe they didn't tell you that, you know, they could have at this moment been broken up with their wife or their husband or their main person. Okay. So when they were reaching out to you to get some support or financial assistance, um, they may have told you some things. Okay. Told you that they were going to be with you, told you that they're going to settle down. But the truth of the matter is that they can't settle down because they're in a karmic situation. So you may feel cheated this week in uh, the sign of Virgo. Okay, Virgo, definitely Virgo. For Virgo, very strongly, you might feel cheated this weekend. You may have gotten played out of your money, out of your resources. Okay, and like I said, it's just because the person that you're crazy about, your ex, they are already married or in a karmic tie already, okay? So it kind of looks like the universe is shifting things and, and it's going to put them karmic people back together um, to reconcile or to, you know, just come back together. So you may feel cheated if you lend it out some money this week, uh, maybe to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also, um, if you tried to reach out and help uh, Sagittarius, uh, Aries or Libra, um, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Okay. So you could be feeling cheated. Okay. If it's a fire sign or if it's a water sign, Virgo. Oh, let's see what else I have. Even though you may feel cheated by this particular person that is your ex, Fire sign, water sign, Virgo. I definitely feel that if you have an ex that happens to fall under the zodiac sign of Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, as well as Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, this person could reach out to you and want to communicate with you and, and talk to you because it looks like you're chasing an ex that happens to be fire or water and they're chasing you. Okay, so I would go towards um, that that definitely earth signs. Okay. Virgo, I will go towards earth signs or, um, the air sign. Okay. Because they look like they have a uh, more of an interest in you. You're just going to keep hurting yourself. If you keep helping this water or fire sign out. Okay. Because they're just taken. They're already off the market with this two of wands. Okay. Uh, let's see. Am I missing anything? Water and air relationships, it looks like uh, lately you've been arguing, there's been a lot of uh, commotion going on in your relationship, okay? I feel like there will be reconciliation this weekend. Um, th the one thing that I want to say is when it comes to the King of Cups and air signs, if, if your relationship is being held together uh, by drinking, it, it's sort of like, it kind of reminds me what I'm looking at. I'm looking at this cup right here and you could have a Libra or Aquarius or Gemini who drinks a lot, okay? You've been fighting lately. You've been arguing lately. It kind of looks like maybe, you know, you first of all, you need to address this. You need to be honest about, you know, where your relationship is going. Stop letting them sweep it up under the bridge. You know, uh, it's kind of like you, you have an argument with this person and there's never any closure. They just automatically start drinking and, and forgetting about it. It could be... Uh, you Scorpio that do this, or it could be if you're connected to a Libra or Aquarius that do this. Okay. It kind of looks like there's usually a lot of fights between you and, and you just constantly sweep it up under the bridge. You know, as soon as that person drinks, everything is back to being happy. That's not a very healthy relationship. It kind of looks like they're drinking because they're trying to mask something. It could be that they're not over an ex. You might need to check that out. Okay. Scorpio. 
Oh, let's see. Gemini, if you happen to be a Gemini and you're worried about employment, you're worried about work, you're worried about getting a promotion, it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime this week that's coming, okay? Um, Spirit is pretty much trying to tell you to stay where you are. I think that they want you to put more focus into your relationship because your relationship is on the rocks. You might not even know about this. Um, Gemini is the one sign that's usually elusive to what's going on in their home life. Um, they're usually very driven people. They like to go out and make money and finances, and they're always worried about their job and other people's relationships and things like that, and you're not focusing on your own relationship. I kind of get the sense that your relationship is under an attack, okay? So your partner may not be as happy as you think they are, okay, because you're you're too busy driven trying to become promoted or, or trying to get... Um, it could even be that you're trying to move, okay, move into a different department or whatever. Spirit wants you to stay put. Okay, you need to stay put and you need to put more effort and energy into your relationship because it looks like you're about to lose that, Gemini. Let's see. Let me look at this real quick. Capricorn, give me Capricorn's energy. King of Coins this weekend, 4th through the 6th. Any Capricorn. The Four of Swords. Tell me more. The Seven of Pentacles. Capricorn, you could be waiting on money too. If you're waiting on money, also you could be waiting on love. This could be waiting on money or waiting on love. You're waiting on somebody to reach out to you. There's still more time on that. That person is not ready to reach out to you. There's still some things that are taking place behind the scenes. Okay, so those of you that are waiting on money or waiting on love, um, Spirit just wants you to rest and relax. Uh, take a look at what you've already accomplished, Capricorn. Um, and, and I kind of get the sense of water your garden. I don't know what that means for you, Capricorn. But it, it just says take a break and water your garden. So whatever you're working on, Capricorn, um, if you're expecting a, a, a person to reach out to you this weekend, or um, you're expecting to uh, get approved for a loan or, or something like that, or just uh, that phone call, it doesn't look like it's ready yet. It, it For some reason, Spirit is telling me, water your garden. So it could be, um, let's say that you uh, presented a plan. Now, I feel for, there are a lot of Capricorn and Tauruses that recently went out of town. If you recently went out of town for a business plan, a business deal to get signed to a contract, that's good for you. But those of you that are staying put, those of you that are at home and you're waiting for, uh, I don't know, a, a fucking uh, somebody to call you, uh, you're waiting for an ex to return, you're waiting for um, some money that's owed to you. It, they're saying water your garden. So it could be that maybe you need to go back over the contract. You need to read your presentation over again, okay? Uh, because it's it's not yet ready for some reason. It's not ready. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means something to you, Capricorn. Hmm. I think I covered everything. Like I said, this is the last weekend for up to the minute. So if you haven't taken advantage of that, hit me up at allsingitarot at gmail.com. Make sure in your subject line you have how many minutes that you want to book. Okay. And I'll send you back an invoice, get it paid as soon as possible. Never just send me money, okay, without me sending you an invoice. Don't do that, okay, guys? I love you so, so much, guys. Um, Yeah, I think that's it. Like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. And until next week, thank you, guys.